So, you're with Singapore Press. Singapore Poetry. Uh -huh. And what is that? What's that about? Singapore Poetry is a website that I curate, and it displays all the poems, all right, by, uh, poems by various Singapore writers, as well as all things poetic about Singapore. So do check us out, you know, at uh, singaporepoetry.com. We are also organizing the first ever Singapore Literature Festival in New York City. In October. Now, are you are you from New York City or are you from Singapore? Originally, I'm from Singapore, but I've lived in New York City for ten years now. But oh, I go I back see. to Singapore every summer. Now, Singapore is part of China, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it is. It's actually in Southeast Asia. Oh, so it's one of those. In, that's one that has a great prosperity. Yes, it is. Uh, it is very close to uh, Malaysia and Indonesia. It's right. in that part of the world. But no crime, as I recall, that's a place no. where. For, uh, for no crime. No Not crime no at all. Crime. Very, very strict enforcement of all laws. That's right. You, you, you spit on the right. sidewalk, you get, you get locked up. Uh, uh, so tell me about what it's like being, you're, you're, you're in English, dealing with English poetry, English writing mainly, mm -hmm. right? And what is the market? I mean, do you, do, you, do you take it from an Asian or Singaporean perspective? What is a Singaporean perspective? <laughs> because I, I know it's Asian, but right. I mean... You, you well, obviously I don't, I don't speak think that's, English in Singapore, right? Right, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, What's it? we have a lot of uh, writers who in Singapore write in English, but uh -huh. we, are also, we also have a lot of writers who write in Chinese, right. and Malay, and uh, in the various Indian languages as well, such as Tamil. Was Singapore so a, a colony of, of Britain? I don't know. That's the, right, it was an ex-colony. I right? see. Yeah, that's right. So now, you, these are poetry books that you have written. Mm -hmm. And anyone that you think is particularly, which one is the best? Um, I think they're all great. <laughs> yeah, well, you would. You're unfair. Oh, which one have you had to pick behind I, your I cannot, children? I cannot pick. pick. I cannot pick my favorite. Well, then they're we're going to go over favorites. here to lesser known poets. All right. Now, these are Singapore poetry. Three books for $20. Now, tell me who, who okay. these poets are. Well, these books that you have just seen are actually put up by a very small press in Singapore called uh, Math Paper Press. Uh -huh. right? And they actually publish uh, poets as well as prose writers. Now, is that, is that mainly gay or is it mixed? Separately? Many of them are. Many of them are. Not all of them are. But uh -huh. Many of them are queer. Is, right. is there is there a, a lot of prejudice against... Uh, Queer people in Singapore? Unfortunately, there still is. I mean, uh, I think things have become more open, you know, but still, we the are still fighting for The legality? Is it legal? Do you have any legal problems? Oh, we do. There's still a, a, a law on the books against gay people in Singapore. Oh, oh. So how about gay publications? Do you get any harassment about having them distributed? No, not really. I mean, I think the atmosphere has become more uh, tolerant in some sense. And where can we find out more about these English poets from China? Singapore. Singapore? I mean, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Well, you should look up uh, singaporepoetry.com. Sing singaporepoetry.com. That's right. Okay, thank you very much. I'm, I'm sorry for my ignorance. You know, I'm a typical American. Yeah. I probably couldn't name all, the, name all the states, so when it came to finding Singapore on the map, I'm sure I'd find Hong Kong or something instead. Thank you.